Dentistry is a field that is constantly changing and advancing, implementing new techniques and technologies. I mean, 40 years ago, dentists didn't even wear gloves. Since roughly the time I've started dental school, three specialties have been recognized by the American Dental Association. Those being oral medicine, dental anesthesiology, and oral facial pain. There are 12 recognized specialties in dentistry. If you're looking for a specific specialty and information about it, go ahead and use the timeline down here and you can skip to that chapter which will be about whatever specialty you're looking for or if you are just trying to learn about the field of dentistry and learn about the different specialties and possible pathways that your career could take as a dentist, go ahead and watch the whole video. We'll start off with orthodontics. Orthodontists focus on improving the function and aesthetics of your teeth and your jaws. It can improve your speaking, biting, chewing, your facial growth and development, as well as your jaw positioning. Each patient receives a personalized treatment plan to address the issues that they have, and under the direction of an orthodontist, they can have the function and aesthetics of their smile improved. Orthodontists complete a two or three year residency depending on the specific program. Endodontics is focused on the health and treatment of the pulp of the tooth or the nerve. In their residencies, they receive advanced training in diagnosing tooth pain and root canal therapy. Root canal therapy is performed to preserve the tooth structure rather than just extracting the tooth, and endodontic residencies are typically two years. Pediatric dentists focus on treating children. In addition to learning more diagnostic and surgical procedures, they learn child psychology, child pharmacology, child radiology and pathology, child development, oral and facial trauma, conscious sedation, and general anesthesia. In addition to treating children, they also receive training in how to treat patients with special needs, such as physical and developmental disabilities. Pediatrics residencies are two to three years in duration. I actually did most of my shadowing with a pediatric dentist, and that was one of the specialties that I was considering before starting dental school, but I learned that it takes very special people to be pediatric dentists, and I just didn't feel like that was what I wanted to do. Don't be afraid to change your mind once you gather information and know a little bit more about different aspects of dentistry. Oral surgery is one of the big specialties that a lot of people know about. I'm sure many of you have had your wisdom teeth taken out, likely by an oral surgeon. Oral surgery is often seen as very glamorous and it is also extremely competitive and difficult to be accepted into the residency programs. There are four-year or six-year programs. In the six-year programs, you take the first two years of medical school and receive your MD. Oral surgeons focus on reconstructive surgery, trauma, as well as cosmetic surgery. There are also subspecialties, and depending on what path you take and which residency you attend, you can also go on to do a fellowship. So you have a lot of options, but that is a topic for another video. The next specialty we'll talk about is periodontics. Periodontics focuses on the prevention, diagnosis, and treatment of periodontal disease or gum disease, which affects the gums or the tissue and the bone that surrounds and supports the teeth. Periodontists are one of the specialties that also typically receives additional training in placing implants along with oral surgeons and some prosthodontists. General dentists can take continuing education courses and learn how to place implants, but there are many general dentists who just refer implant placement to a specialist. Fun fact, perio was actually the specialty that I was considering because I feel like perio is a very surgical specialty, but it doesn't involve the trauma that oral surgery is responsible for. So I didn't want to deal with the trauma, be in the ER, deal with self-inflicted gunshot wounds and those kinds of things. Obviously not every oral surgeon deals with that, but that is much more in their realm versus perio, which is still very surgical, but without the trauma. A periodontal residency is three years long. Prosthodontics is the dental specialty that focuses on diagnosing, treating, and restoring missing dentition or missing teeth with the use of different appliances. Those appliances include dentures, bridges, crowns, 
and implants. Prosthodontics, a lot of people probably just think dentures, but something else that prosthodontists can do are to treat patients that have some sort of physical deformity. So maybe they have lost part of their nose or face in an accident. They can actually create a prosthetic for their face to restore some quality of life. Prosthodontists attend a three-year residency program after completing dental school. Now we're starting to get into these specialties that a lot of people probably are less familiar with. Public health is the next specialty that I'll briefly cover, and dental public health specialists focus on developing the policies and programs such as dental health care reform to treat populations and not just individual patients. The average length of a dental public health residency is 14 months. Oral medicine specialists are responsible for the oral care of patients with medically complex histories. They diagnose and manage diseases related to the oral and maxillofacial region. Oral medicine is primarily non-surgical and the procedures that they perform include diagnostic biopsies, small excisions, therapeutic injections, and other very minor surgical procedures. Programs range from two to three years and there are other programs where you can get a master's or PhD and those range typically from three to five years in length. Oral radiologists receive additional training in all things radiology, such as the physics, the biology, the safety and hygiene, which enables them to take and interpret conventional and digital images, such as CT scans, MRIs, as well as CBCT images and panoramic radiographs. And these techniques help them to diagnose and treat different oral facial diseases. Programs for oral radiology range from two to three years. Oral pathologists focus on studying and researching the causes, processes, effects, and outcomes of diseases of the oral and maxillofacial region. Their residency programs on average are 37 months. Oral facial pain. These specialists diagnose and manage different disorders such as temporomandibular muscle and joint disorders, jaw movement disorders, neuropathic and neurovascular pain disorders, as well as headaches and sleep disorders. Oral facial pain residencies range anywhere from 12 to 36 months. Last, but certainly not least, is dental anesthesiology. This specialty focuses on managing the pain, anxiety, and health of patients during dental, oral, maxillofacial surgical, and diagnostic procedures. Many dental anesthesiology specialists practice in other dentists' offices with them and their patients. Some do work in other settings, such as hospitals or surgical centers. Dental anesthesiology residencies are three years in length. Hey, don't forget to tell them about the other stuff. Oh, right. While these are the 12 recognized specialties, there are other fields or aspects of dentistry that are not yet recognized by the ADA, such as cosmetics and implantology. Who knows how long it will be before these are recognized specialties as well.